I just don't, I, I want to go out, but you've got to be safe. And you've got to be sensible. And let's be honest. This is neither. This is neither safe nor sensible. I never thought you were that marvelous. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that marvellous, but what the heck. It's an optical illusion, but the river seems to me to be lower down there than there, so it always feels like the river, like the water's not level. I'm sure it's an optical illusion caused by the hills and things, but the river's on the ebb, going that way at the minute, so I've got this horrible illusion that the water's flowing uphill. Behind me, a guy is collecting feeder crabs for fishing, so um, these posts that I've seen up and down the shoreline. Um, basically the crabs just um, like to go behind them and then he just comes along and picks them up. The next day it was getting a bit windy so we were glad to meet up with some friends and spend a day walking on the beach and looking up the channel at low water. Look at this, this is the con, the perch, just as you come up in the river to Conway. Um, it looks absolutely massive but when you're in your boat it's an insignificant bit of metal work uh, but just beyond it you can see the two cones that you have to um, go between Having looked at the channel at low tide we carried on with our walk and guzzled some blackberries until we finally got to the pub Alright Gainer, try and reach the top. No, not a chance, Beth. Ah, you midge! Hey, that's cheating. Yes! Victory! Stay with you. Victory is mine! Conway's large tidal range means that the marina is protected by a flap gate with entry two hours either side of high water. So this is Conway's River and uh, it's full flood. This is three hours before high tide. And um, as you can see from looking at the platform over there, it uh, it's a bit of current round here. The locals seem well used to the river's little ways and have devised their own form of entertainment. What we already knew about the difference between conditions inside the marina and out in the river, we then made an astonishingly bad decision. I'm just getting very excited. Beverly and I have been um, in Conway, absolutely beautiful place, great marina, uh, fantastic toilet facilities, but Bev and I just get itchy feet. We want to go. And at last, we've had a break in the weather and we should be able to go. The 
it looked okay in the marina, but once we went out of the shelter of the river, it was a different story. As we passed the perch, the wind began to pick up 4-6 gusting 7, and combined with Conway's strong flood tide, we were getting nowhere. Scary. Oh my golly. Fucking hell. <sighs> I've got the camera on it. Don't you waste your time on that. Okay, I don't know what else you can do. All I was going to do was I was just going to say that it's just so... I just don't, I, I want to go out, but you've got to be safe and you've got to be sensible. And let's be honest, this is neither, this is neither safe nor sensible. And Beverly is struggling to hold course and it's in a restricted channel. So it's really difficult, but you've got to be sensible. Yeah, I want to go out, but... I want us to be safe too. And so it was back to the marina and back into the slip we had vacated such a short time before. Next day, we went to look at the sea, and we had a good idea that it was going to be rough. Things did ease off at sunset, but by then it was low tide and we could not get out of the marina because of the tidal flap. Next day we had another look, but things hadn't really improved all that much. Well, uh, we decided to stay in today. Um, the, channel, the conditions in the channel are looking just a tad choppy and the wind is blowing an absolute early. So in the words of the song, tell me now should I stay or should I? No, we're not going. <laughs> Definitely not going. Yeah, What's the matter, McFly? You chicken? You can call me a chicken oh. if you want. You can call me a chicken if you want to. But quite frankly, I'm staying in pot. So this is the new Chandler's at Conway. And it seems to be very well stocked. So what are you doing, Gainer? Oh, I'm contemplating doing my yacht master there. So I'm just having a read of the book and um, seeing what's involved. Well, we're weather bound in uh, Conwy Marina, but you know, just because you're weather bound doesn't mean say you can't um, meet some wonderful people. And this is my mum and my brother. So <laughs> oh, you're a wonderful person, mother. <laughs> I know, it's not a question of that. <laughs> what? I missed you years ago. You did what? Years ago? Years ago, I met you. Oh, did she? <laughs> oh, she met me. She met me a couple of years ago, apparently. Yeah. It was when I was born. <laughs> I never thought you were that marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not that marvellous, but what the heck. <laughs> anyway, Mum
Tom and I have just had a um, tiny adventure. We went into the smallest house. So what did you think of it, Mum? Well, I didn't get very far. Yeah, that's because uh, you get the wheelchair in and you can't turn it round or anything. It's that tiny. Yeah. Um, but um, I got myself a badge to commemorate my tiny adventure. And I couldn't find it, and I was looking around, and I was looking around, and where was it? In my handbag. <laughs> she had it in her handbag. No wonder I couldn't find it in mine. <laughs> the next day was more of the same. With it being 4-7, we decided to do some other stuff. This is our inclinometer. We are safely moored in the marina. I'm not too sure about safe. <laughs> We're definitely moored. Yeah, we're definitely moored, but um, yeah, it's only getting up to five degrees. Um, so nothing much, really. <laughs> well, our logger's not working, but I'm looking at it and I'm wondering why. What is it? Some kind of growth? Seaweed, maybe? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's got to go. go. Uh, we have a toothbrush, just specially for the job. Eventually, we got a break in the weather and off we went. Oh, well, there's the perch that um, we were at. Got a bit more water. What's the tide at the moment, Beverly? Uh, we have got three metres. Um, under the keel, that means five metres of depth. So the tide at the moment is about five metres, nowhere near as high as it can be. Um, but you can see that's the perch, and there's um, one of the boys that was the one that C11. was actually C11, and that was the boy that was actually on the sand when we uh, came to see it at low water. We were excited to be off and we thought it was going to be plain sailing. We were, of course, completely wrong. As soon as you relax at sea, something happens. Pan pan, pan pan. This is sailing yacht, salty lass, salty lass. We are 100 metres south of Bumaris Pier, we are taking water aboard. We require immediate assistance. 